So what we have in this problem is a large ball which has a cavity in it. And before the cavity was drawn, the mass of this ball was capital M. So the question is, what is the gravitational force on account of this ball which has a cavity in it on this mass M? So how we'll approach this problem is that we'll first find the gravitational force if there was no cavity, as if this ball was full. So the, the force would be F1, let us call it F1, and this would equal G into M into capital M. Remember, capital M is the mass of the ball when it is full. There's no cavity in it. And the distance between the two centers is D. So we'll square this. Now, the, the ball which comes out and this cavity gets made would have a certain mass. So let's go ahead and find what would be the mass of the ball uh, which ultimately is drawn out and a cavity is made. So we can say since it's been extracted from the larger ball, the density of both the masses would be same. So we, we know that the density of the larger ball would have been mass upon volume or mass upon four third of pi r cube. And the density of the smaller ball would have been same and equal to, let us say, its mass is m dash, that is the ball that has been extracted, divided by 4 by 3 into pi. And here, the radius of this ball would actually be r by 2. And we will cube it. So when we do this, we find that m dash or the mass of the cavity or rather the mass that has been taken out to make the cavity would equal capital M by 8. Now, therefore, we can go ahead and find what would have been the force on account of this mass M dash. Let's call this force F2. And this would have been equal to G into M into M upon 8 upon distance between the center of this cavity and the center of this mass and that would have been d minus r upon 2 and we'll go ahead and square this so we we know what is the force on this mass the gravitational force on this mass due to the full ball when there was no cavity which is this and we also know the force on this ball due to the mass which would have been over here which is f2 so we'll go ahead and subtract f2 from F1 and the net gravitational force would therefore equal G M M upon D square minus G M M upon 8 divided by D minus R by 2 whole square and this will find equals GMM, we take it out into 1 upon d square minus 1 upon 8 times d minus r by 2 whole square. So if the value of small m, capital M, d and r is given, you can find what is the force on account of a mass which has a cavity in it.